Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make some Nourishing Traditions style fermented pickled beets. Beets are chock full of amazing beneficial nutrients and when you ferment them, you also get lots of friendly probiotic bacteria, which is great for your health. So let's jump right into the recipe and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make these. So I'm gonna start off with about 12 medium to smallish beets. And I actually harvested these right out of my garden a little bit earlier today. And then you're going to need to cook them some way. The Nourishing Traditions cookbook recommends baking them at a, in a 300 degree Fahrenheit oven. And that is the more ideal way to cook them. You just want to get them nice and soft. Um, I didn't have three hours to do that because that's how long it takes to bake them. But um, I went ahead and just cooked them in a pan on the stove with some water. I simmered them for 30 minutes and you probably lose a little bit of the nutrients when you cook them in water. So it's not the most ideal, but it was faster. So that's what I did this time. So I'm just going to start by uh, cutting them up a little bit. So I'm gonna cut off the tops and then I'm just gonna slice them. You don't wanna slice them really, really small because if you shred them or cut them too small, then they'll ferment too quickly and then it won't turn out quite right. So just like quarter inch slices is gonna be good. And then as I slice them, I'm actually just gonna start putting them right into my quart size mason jar. Okay, now that I have them all sliced and in my jar, I'm gonna go on to the next step, which is to add some spice. Now the Nourishing Traditions cookbook calls for cardamom pod, there's seeds from cardamom pods. And I tried to find some of those, but I couldn't find any at the store that I went to. So I'm just gonna use some ground cardamom. So I'm probably gonna stick about, I wanna say half a teaspoon, maybe a heaping half a teaspoon in there. And I'm just gonna kinda of sprinkle that on the top and that'll add some really nice flavor. That is optional. You can completely leave that out if you want to. And then next I'm going to add some salt. I'm gonna use a really nice high quality mineral salt. The one that I like to use is this Celtic sea salt. I get that from Azure Standard. I'll put a link to it below so you can find it. For this recipe, you will need either one tablespoon of a mineral salt plus four tablespoons of whey or you can use two tablespoons of salt. So I'm going to go ahead and do it with two tablespoons of salt today. So I'm just gonna add those. And then after that, you notice that I have the level of beets filled just to the shoulder. The shoulder is where the jar starts to curve. You don't wanna fill your fermented foods too full because that's oftentimes when they will bubble over and leak and stuff like that. So next I'm just gonna fill the jar the rest of the way with some filtered water. Give it a little bit of time to let the air come out. And you do wanna make sure that everything is submerged, so make sure that you add enough water to hold everything or to cover everything with water. And then you can use a fermenting weight if you want to. I don't think I will this time because it seems to be doing pretty well just like this. And then, you're going to just put a lid on. And if you watched my fermentation lids video, you'll know that one of my favorite ways to do this is to just use a regular canning ring and the flat part. And you just put that on there nice and tight. And then that can pop up and down, but you'll leave it out on your countertop for around three days, but you'll know when it's ready. And this is why I like this lid is when you can't pop the lid up and down anymore and it's tight enough that you can't do that, then you know it's done. And then you can move it to the refrigerator. You can of course do this kind of lid that will let the gases escape. And if you choose to do that type, you'll just have to kind of keep track of how many days it's been out depending on the temperature in your house. Warmer temperatures make fermentations happen quicker and cooler temperatures make them happen slower. So you just kind of have to keep an eye and maybe do a taste test, but that's why I like the lid because then when it doesn't pop, then you know it's done. They're really delicious. They're one of my favorite fermented foods that are out there. And 
I love how many benefits beets have. They're tasty to eat this way. A lot of times people like them better in a fermented way than they like just eating regular cooked beets, so that's kind of nice. And then you can also use the liquid. You can take shots of it to stop a cold or a flu, or you can just take it for its probiotic benefits, add it to other food. I have other fermentation videos on my channel. I've been doing a bunch lately about lids and crocs and pickles, zucchini relish. I also have a sauerkraut recipe and I'll link some of those below so you can check those out. Leave me a comment below and let me know what is your favorite thing to ferment. And like I said before, I will have a link in the description box below to where you can find the salt as well as some fermentation equipment that I like to use and one of my favorite places to buy organic groceries and pantry items. I'll have a link below to my written blog post where you can find a printable recipe card if you want to grab that. And also check out the description box for some free ebooks and other goodies. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel and it helps other people find my videos. Consider sharing it with anybody else who you think might want to learn how to make their own fermented pickled beets. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient-dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.